musician, music composer, writes scores, done producing, mixing, uh, owns a record label, owns a record shop. Um, so I'd like to introduce you to uh, Mr. Simon Raymond. Hey, of course. Hi. Um, so I wanted to begin, Simon, with just kind of where, how you began, where it came from, your sort of interest in music. Really the key to me getting into music and being here today um, was punk rock. You know, that, that's really the sort of catalyst for the whole thing. I was uh, obsessed with music from there on in. Right. Uh, joined a little band at school. Um, and then my first proper band was called The Drowning Craze. We, we got signed uh, to this little indie label called Situation 2, which was a, a subsidiary of 4AD Records. 4AD is now, I'm sure a lot of you know, is you know is one of the biggest indie labels out there, if not, if not the biggest. Yeah. So my only real, real job before doing music full-time was, was working in a record shop. Right. And that record shop was where I met pretty much everybody that changed, that changed the course of my life. I met Robin and Liz from the Cocteau Twins. Getting into the Cocteaus then, when you sort of joined, was there an audition? I had a part-time job working in a little eight-track studio in Camden. And um, the owners went away one weekend and I said to Robin and Liz, I said, Would you, do you want to come and use the studio? Because the, the, the fellas are out of town and I got the keys, so why don't you come along? And we kind of, me and Robin just messed about and we came up with a tune really quick. And then I went back to my life and they went back to Scotland and that was it, I yeah. thought. And then about a month later, Robin called me up and uh, just said, you know, do you want to join the band? Come up to Scotland and we were just about to make an album. We'd love you to love you to join the band. Because you, you were with 4AD for a l for most of the years, yeah. were you not, um, with, with the cocktails. What were your experiences with those guys? Because then I know you moved on to, was it... Uh, Mercury, Fontana. Fontana. Yeah. Well, that was Which a terrible mistake. Yes. Uh, that whole thing of signing to a major and this, just them giving you this big wadge of money. It put it put us under um, a lot of uh, um, sort of unconscious kind of pressures. Um, Liz just said, I'd have, "I've had enough. I just can't do it anymore." And I, I probably was quite relieved in a way. Being with that band for that length of time, um, when that split up, what what how what was your reaction? Well, how, I didn't really know what to do yeah. with myself. Um, I couldn't ever imagine working with anyone as good. So I had some confidence confidence issues right. uh, that took a while to get over. But listen, we just started this record label um, in 1997. It was initially just to put out the Cocteau's records. That, that was the sole purpose of it. So we, we, you know, we got the logo done. We got some letterheads done. We got a little uh, office in our studio. Um, and then, and then Liz decided she didn't want to be in the band anymore. So kind of, we had a record label, but no band. Right. You know, and I was a bit of a loose end. Had a bit of a loose end to know what to do with myself. Um, it seemed to make some sense, at any rate, to just do it. How much did you find that you kind of didn't expect would have to be done to run a label, coming to it from an artist's perspective? Yeah, I mean, I. I really had no idea uh, uh, the amount of work involved and also, you know, the relationship part of it, you know, bu building relationships with people, it's key to, to the success of anything. You know, in life, it, it's all about the relationships and how well you, 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 you manage those relationships. You know, networking in our day was actually going to a gig and meeting up with people and meeting, you know, just being around and talking. Yeah. And it's sad that that doesn't happen as much. You know, like just like my record shop, for example. I mean, I'm not in there every day. I, I only go in there a, f a couple of days a week and stuff. But uh, you come in and, and you, you bring your band's music in. And I can see you and meet you and, like, get an assessment of what you're like as a person. And when you've gone away, I'll be like, oh, that was a nice was a nice guy. You know, I'll listen to that. I wonder what, you know, whereas if you just sent me an email that I probably didn't, read properly I'd have no impression of you as a person what would advice would you give us as a younger generation to try to get signed to uh, a label um, you just have to kind of step back a little second and just think about the kind of music that you like yourself or the kind of band that you see yourself as where are the where are the outlets for this music you know is it this DJ is it that DJ is it this night at this club or is it that night what? Well, who's the promoter? Maybe I should. Maybe you should send a mail to the promoter. Who's who are the booking agents uh, for the bands that I like, uh, or or you know stuff like that. And you you just have to approach them. The, the most interesting people out there right now are the young booking agents that work 
at the bigger companies. Cool. I'd like to thank uh, Simon for a wonderful uh, chat we've had. Well done, guys. Thank you very much, Simon. Uh, it was cool, actually. I came along. I didn't actually know much about Simon Raymond before. Um, I just thought I, I knew the label. Obviously, I knew Bella Union, and I thought it'd be cool to get a bit of like background on how that works. I don't know. He did kind of say a few things that were quite reassuring, um, in terms of, or like, made it seem a lot more kind of tangible, sort of feasible to go and do, rather than it being like, you know, impossible to to get into that world kind of thing. It's good to get people other than just your regular lecturers that you see every week, like good as they are, it's good to um, get some other perspectives too.